Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have a black eye. It literally looks like I got hit in the face with a freaking softball. Good morning. I just pulled up to Dr. Smith's office again and I pulled up to the med spa side. I have a couple minutes before I have to walk in. I wasn't sure if I was going to film this because I didn't want it to be like a messy situation. It's not messy. I'm just, let me tell you. I went to my usual injector and that's who've been doing my injections for a few years now and I've gone to other ones in Vegas probably about three other ones and I finally found one that I really really liked and I still like her and everything is good but the last time I believed that one eye was overfilled okay and it's this one and you guys seen in videos I've talked about it and you could just see it so I mean with the sun shining hold on let me close this so you guys can see look okay you know now you could notice it what time is it? Okay, I got five minutes. Okay, so um, that right there. Like, I don't have bags under my eyes. Like, what they're fixing with the filler is my uh, deep tear troughs. I usually have, like, you know, it's kind of deep. It's not, like, bags, but it's just, like, a line right here. And on this one, and I don't even go overboard because you could still kind of see where it is. But it's just less, you know, in your face. And that's all that was supposed to be done on here, but it's just really puffy right there. This never has happened. I've been getting fillers since about um, 2014, 15. So it's been a while and nothing has ever happened. I've never had to get anything dissolved. I have had to wear... I didn't really like how it looked, but I kind of waited it out because it wasn't like overfilled or... It was just more of like, I didn't like the shape. When I went back to tell her that, um, let me turn my air on. Cause my camera is getting hot. Okay, I hope you guys can still hear me. I let her know, you know, um, what I saw and it's not healing. It had been six weeks, usually takes two weeks to notice what the filler is going to do and she keeps telling me wait it out wait it out she's like well i could dissolve it but then it's going to be a whole thing and she was like honestly i think it's just you and people who really know you that notice it so you know let's just wait it out wait it out or whatever so i'm like okay cool so another week went past and now that makes like six weeks maybe even a little more so i'm like i can't do this so i wanted to go to my other girl here which is like, um, she's done my Botox. I've even filmed her here. And um, yeah, so I trust her too. And so as soon as she saw me, she's like, okay, so this one is overfilled. They also had, she also had, um, she was training a doctor. So that doctor as well was like, okay, yeah. So it looks like, you know, basically like I got punched in the eye. So they noticed it and immediately she was like your choice is to dissolve it basically yeah to dissolve it that's all you could do but she did say you can also wait for it to dissolve because you guys know fillers go away but it takes a while for the fillers to go away under your eye because it's just a small it's such a small area which makes sense because i only get fillers under my eyes once a year so she warned me that dissolving it is painful not painful but it stings when it goes in it stings when they're putting in the solution to dissolve the filler so that's what i'm gonna feel she said it only lasts about you know a few seconds but she has to do it multiple times you know in the areas that she's trying my camera shut off because it is too hot basically i came to this girl because she noticed right away and knows what she wants to fix my other girl she was saying that she doesn't really know wait it out da 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 and that didn't make me feel secure at all so i ended up coming to her and i do have to pay her it would have been free at the other place but i'm like if you don't know what i don't like i um don't trust it so i'm here i do have to pay but yeah, I will give you more information when I get inside and let my camera cool off. So let's go. I'm just gonna start by applying it right to this area. We're going to be going into 
And I'm just gonna go just a bit outside of even where the affected area is, just so we're giving you the maximum coverage with your numbing cream. Okay. okay. So we're gonna let you numb for about 10 minutes. Okay. And then we'll wipe it off and then we'll clean you again, then we'll get started, okay? Okay, perfect. We're gonna wipe off the numbing cream and then we're gonna cleanse you again with some alcohol just to keep that area nice and clean. Okay. Got my stress balls. Yes. <laughs> just in case. You may not need them, but let's be prepared, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> we have an overfilled under eye tear trough area. We're going to be using Helinex, which is an enzyme that's used to dissolve this is Aaron, filler. you guys. Hello. <laughs> so Helinex is used to dissolve filler. It basically is gonna go after that under eye filler, like little Pac-Man and break it down, okay? okay. Um, we're gonna do this in stages, as I explained, um, because we don't wanna over dissolve and then you end up with too much of a deficit underneath the eye because this one right. actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to just match that one, okay? So like I said, this is my first time getting anything dissolved, so yes. I'll let you know the real, if it's painful or not. Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Just I'm there. You go. Close your eyes since we're next oh, to the eye okay. area. Okay. You're good. Okay. I'm nervous. How you doing? Did you start? Yes, ma'am. You are nice and numb. So people experience that numbing differently. Um, some people get it great benefit out of it and others not so much it's just kind of how our body responds to the product but how would you describe it right now are you really doing it because uh -huh. i honestly don't feel anything perfect yeah how come it's not burning though you are numbed well that's why so the numbing cream is working really well for you okay consider yourself lucky because it's not always like that for everyone I'm you don't feel anything I just felt that, I don't know if it was the poke or the sting. I felt okay. like something, it just felt like yeah. a stick. So I'm just going in and doing just small amounts of this product and you can kind of just work it into that area. Now, mm -hmm. some patients notice a difference within like 15, 20 minutes. Others, okay. it takes a day or two before they really start to see the breakdown of the okay. filler. So. You know, just keep an eye on it. This is a very safe product, very low risk. So just to kind of set your mind at ease. Yeah. Okay, so the filling is like, if you were not numb mm -hmm. and you felt the needle, okay. just poke. That's good, perfect. That's what it feels like. I wouldn't say a burn because that kind of made me nervous but I would say like if you were getting poked with no no anesthetic numbing. yeah uh-huh so, so it's not too bad because I have not used numbing just because I was in a hurry right right I know and that's kind of how it feels like it's not like I was thinking I was about to be in like pain <laughs> so okay but just to be clear though there okay. are a lot of patients that do experience a significant amount of burning oh, with this okay. product so i don't want people to get um miss you know miss right i think i do have is. high tolerance too you guys know from my yeah. surgery video so yeah, yeah so she's lucky <laughs> and i'm happy for her because okay. it's not pleasant yeah. um but i would say about 75 percent of the patients that i do dissolving on mm -hmm. they do experience the numbing so you are lucky okay. so it's good because even when i'm numbing someone the way we did okay. they will still feel it oh, so we're okay. just you know it's, okay so maybe okay I got so it's good it. i'm glad like that as for me as the injector i feel better that you feel better like because i i know that you're comfortable we always want you yeah, to be comfortable i was especially when you handed me the stress balls i was yeah like, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> preventative measures just but case. just in case we have them and yeah. she's doing great though this is um it's a relatively quick process but i am having her come back in a week so that we can reassess and see what we need to do um i was telling her that you know, thankfully we're able to dissolve um, filler. And even if we don't get full correction with dissolving, it still will improve the situation. Mm -hmm. You can tell I'm not used to being on camera because I keep <laughs> looking yeah. in the viewfinder. I'm like, uh, so um, anyway, but okay. 
I like that you're sharing this though because I think it's important. I for wasn't to at see. first. I was like nervous because I was like, I don't know if I want to. Yeah. Because they've seen me get the filler with a different girl, and I was just yeah. like, I don't want to be messy. But I told them why I chose because she didn't know it or was saying she didn't see what I wanted to change. Right. Right. So I had to come to a second opinion, and if you see it, I'd rather just pay. Yeah. You know, and get it done right. If you know. Yeah. And this should so, be a salvageable case in that, mm -hmm. um, you know, we should be able to dissolve you enough to where you like the way it looks, like yeah. just by removing okay. some of that filler. Yeah. And you can expect um, afterwards to have a little tenderness at the site just from the needle pricks, but also a little bit of swelling, um, just like any time we go in anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the enzyme action of this product, I'm just doing a, a little massaging into this area just okay. to help it move around. But, um, you know, we're just trying to minimize this puffiness that she has right under here just from being overfilled. And this is, unfortunately, um, something happen. I see more often than not. And mm -hmm. it's this under eye area. It can be challenging, you yeah. know. Um, the fillers draw water to that area through... Um, the action of hyaluronic acid, which is what it's made out of. And sometimes when it's overfilled a little too much, the patient ends up looking like they have allergies or, yeah, you know, like they got socked in the eye. eye. Yeah. yeah. So, and you might have just a little bit of bruising, okay. um, from, but it's a tiny needle that I use to dissolve it with. So, and we're just going to check back in in a week and see how she's doing. And that's it. Thank so, you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I have a black eye. So this is day two of starting to get the filler dissolved in this eye, my right eye. And it actually does look better. I know because it's a black, it's black, it kind of looks worse. But um, I noticed that my eye started to turn black immediately. Like as soon as she started um, putting the substance in to um, dissolve. But it already, to me, it looks better because um, before like up in here, it was just like really, um, there was like a lump, like you could just see the filler in my eye. Hold on, I just wanna look in the mirror really quick so I could tell. Yes, there is like a big difference. Like it just looks different. Um, it's starting to look, um, and the place that I'm telling, it was like more like right here in the inner corner. It was just more bunched up like um, filler. And yeah, but besides it being black, it looks better to me. Like it's starting to work. Um, it's gonna take a few days. Like I said, um, I have to go back next week on Monday. I'm actually gonna go back. Um, yeah, not this coming Monday, but Monday the 26th. And then, yeah, so she's said to see how much um, goes out. She actually does not wanna take it all out, which is what, my injector before her who put actually did this filler said to do is to take it all out and try to match them back up and i'm like no because i don't want to pay for more filler after i already paid for it and all this stuff but if that i want that to be the very last resort but so um aaron who um is dissolving it for me she said that she wants to kind of just like try to match this eye which is fine so when I go back in a week, um, she's going to look at it and see if she needs to inject any more and just how it's looking. And if I like how it looks, then I don't need any more to take any more out. But um, if it's still kind of, you know, off and looking overly filled, then see, like even when I look back like this, it's not like like literally it was like that before. So it, it definitely is working. Um, I'm hoping that in a week it is like fine and I don't have to get any more because it is $250, but um, it's just not painful or anything. So I'll go sit down and get it done if I have to. So yeah, but um, that's what happens if you overfill. Like I said, this has never happened in all the years that I've gotten filler. Like I've never been overfilled. It was, and if it was something that I didn't like, I pretty much just let it wear off. But on your eye, it's like so, you know, like noticeable, like on your face anywhere, honestly. But I mean, I just couldn't let my eyes sit like that. I'm sorry, I keep looking in the mirror, but I'm just like, I wanna see like what I'm talking about. But um, it just, it, it looks a lot better. I hope um, once the black goes away, I can, you know, really see 
um, how it's looking. Yeah, I'm gonna be hiding out for a while. No, I think I'm just gonna put a little makeup over it because <laughs> I literally just look like I got in a fight. Ooh, honey. I look crazy, but I have no makeup on, obviously. You can see my black eye. I'm running late because I went to the gym um, and then I decided to take a shower knowing I did not have time to take a shower, but I knew I was gonna be out all day and I just did not feel like being in my sweaty clothes all day. Usually, I don't care, but I don't know. I just felt like taking a shower, whatever. Okay, so um, I'm on my way to my um, week since I got the um, fillers dissolved appointment. Um, so she's just gonna check up today. It's a lot less black than it was. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but I mean, it's still black, y'all can see, but it was a lot darker. And I think it is going down. Like, I can't really fully tell because it's still black, but to me, oh, and I got a red light. Y'all, I'm so late. I don't usually, why did I take, why did I do that? I should have just left. I should have, first of all, I should have woke up earlier, but I mean, I had a lot to do. I did my whole little morning routine. I'm proud of myself for doing that. But listen, now I'm late to my appointment. But yeah, so I can't really tell. Like, it just looks blacker than what it was. But um, I think where I can mostly tell is right here in this inner corner. It kind of went down. Um, it takes time to dissolve. And at this appointment, she would probably insert more um, to start breaking it down, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today because now I know that it gets so black and I have stuff to do this week. So if she's gonna have to inject it again, um, she's gonna have to do it another time because we need to at least let this black eye heal and then go back in because I look crazy. And covering up with um, makeup, it's just, I don't wanna have to keep, you know, covering something up, you know? Um, even though I put concealer under my eyes anyways, but still. So yeah, this is how it's looking after a week. Like I said, I, at first I wasn't gonna share this, but then I was like, I don't know, people need to know. Cause what if you gotta get some fillers dissolved and you didn't know it's gonna turn black like this. And like I said, I wonder, I don't know. Maybe it's just the eye area though. And every time we switch light while I'm driving, you can kind of see it more, but yeah, it literally looks like. I got hit in the face with a freaking softball. So I just got out my appointment and like I said, I knew we were gonna need another round, but she said um, she prefers that I wait for this bruising to go away, thank the Lord, because I was not trying to do it today because um, it got so dark immediately. I don't know if you can see in the, um, the video because we can't really tell like how much more I need you know, it needs to be kind of like fully or close to what my eye is naturally. So, um, yeah, so it needs to be close to what my eye is naturally for her to see. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take to go away. Maybe like another week, but it is definitely getting better. It was a lot darker than this. Um, but yeah, and plus I didn't, I have stuff to do like... I will let you guys know when I come back and get another round and how my eyes looking then. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's the black eye for me. Hey, you guys. <laughs> what was that? All right, so I'm on my way back to Chic Levy. That's the place that I went last to get my filler dissolved in this eye. And it's been probably about, I don't know, two not even two weeks um mo probably more probably about like three weeks or so and the last time i was there you know my eye th it's this eye was very very black and it was basically i think it was from the dissolver i've never gotten anything dissolved before or something i really don't know because all the years that i've gotten filler i've never had a black eye and i think i've said that but i'm gonna keep reminding you guys um yeah, that's never happened, but I mean, you know, anything can happen. You gotta be like prepared to know that um, everything doesn't react 
the same every single time maybe you know so i wasn't like too freaked out as long as my eye wasn't you know gonna stay black but yeah so it's not as dark as it was like i don't have any makeup on right now because i'm going to get um i'm actually going to get botox and then i'm going to get a little in this eye i think because i think that will like make them more the same i don't know i don't know how you guys see me but when i look in the mirror i just feel like i don't want to get it more dissolved because um then it'll probably just go all the way out which i could do but no i paid for it but um i feel like it will put them on the same you know like on the same level to go down you know um i just feel like the dissolver a friend of mine gets dissolver and nothing happens to her so yeah that's what i think i'm gonna do today and i don't get to see the same girl that i did previously um they said that she does not work there anymore so and i really liked her she was the one um you know she was really like she just explained everything that she was doing and i don't know she was just you know how you just kind of like click with somebody and that's how i felt with her but um and i'm still not going back to my old place because i don't know i just feel like I started it with them so I just want to like finish it and like I said I feel comfortable because this is my surgeon's office too so this is like my backup place like I'm not nervous to see this new lady because they told me like a lot of good things about her I googled her I went to her Instagram page um, and she's a woman of color so I'm kind of like oh you know I don't feel nervous because you know she knows what she's doing and I just feel like you know I don't know we kind of you know she knows me a little better i don't know if she's gonna let me film okay all right so i'm at this place i'm about to get my moles removed again because i already got these moles removed probably like literally like 15 years ago so it was a long time ago don't mind my these are just bumps right here it's that time of the month so yeah um but like i had more it's not as bad as it was well it was never like crazy but it's just i just didn't really like them on my face like you know like the raised moles um they call them skin tags but mine just aren't that bad but like here's when they're starting to grow back because i used to not have any of these i know you guys are probably like no one can see that but like i don't know i just like yes oh thank you and then she'll be with you shortly okay thank you so um yeah so like i just really ooh, hold on my skin look crazy right now i need a facial too but <laughs> we here for these um this one not that one i don't mind the ones that are like in my skin because it just gets covered with makeup Honestly, this is the only mold that I let like show. You probably know from. And then there's one under here. This one I always grab with my nails. So I want that one gone. And this one, I don't want to get all in my nose, but there's one in my nose. You guys, that one used to grow huge. Hi, Hi how, how are you? <laughs> I'm gonna open up this one, okay? Okay. Wait, it should be right here, right here. I don't feel them. It's gonna hurt. Oh, I'm like, I'm nervous already. I haven't had this done in a long time. I'm just gonna show a couple because I need to focus. Okay. It'll be fun. <laughs> for her. <laughs> Not for me. It's this little tool. And basically it's burning the mole off. That's what's happening. So it's gonna give you like a little 
Oh, no, you <laughs> Relax, chill. Okay. Um, you want to start with the more painful one or last painful one? What's going to be the more painful one? I don't know. Everywhere. Right. <laughs> Wait, are we going? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Done. Oh. It's gone. We are done and it looks beautiful. You guys can't tell right now, but I look amazing. See? So these are just gonna um, scab a little, see that little pink spot? That's all that's really gonna be in. And it's gonna get a little scab, but it'll go away in like a couple days and then I'll, it'll be kind of pink like that, but I can cover that with makeup, so. It's all good. I don't have that little witch mole anymore. And then you see the spots on my chest. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So you see these little marks? They're gonna be like lighter than me. See that? Like that was one right there. That's where I was like zapped. It's basically like it lasers the um, mole off or like burns them all off. Like you can you can smell the skin like, mm, cause she has to hold it there for like a couple seconds. So it does, it's not painful. Like it's, it's just like um, uncomfortable and like it feels kind of weird. Like it feels weird. So I don't know, but the way I explain it is like that it hurts, but it doesn't really hurt. Well, me, it doesn't really hurt me. It's just like, I, and I have to scream because that just helps me deal with it. Like just to scream, you know, while she's holding it, they're burning my skin and look at how many times she had to do it. Like all those, and she even did it on my chest. You can see right there. See, it'll be like light like this for mm, maybe like two weeks or something. It's gonna have a scab when I wake up in the morning, but then the scab will go away in like, I don't know, like two or three days. And like I said, I've done this before. That's why I was so comfortable with like, just laying down and letting her just burn my face. It was the exact same um, procedure. It wasn't like, it's not bad at all, actually. Especially if you have a lot or big, ooh, hold on. I don't, I'm trying to scratch myself. <laughs> but if you have like bigger ones, they probably she probably has to hold it on there longer. So that might hurt, but mine were pretty small. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. And then now you can see, cause I do not have makeup on. Um, my eyes that I, wait, I'm kind of oily. This was the one that was the black eye. To me, I still feel like it's not quite the same yet. You know, like it's still like a little overfilled to me, but it is so much better as you can probably see through the video. Um, yeah, this one, um, I had her add some and you can still see, it still has to go down a little bit, but it looks fine. It looks like, you know, it's matching. And then, um, yeah, this one, we didn't do nothing to, but it's better than what it was. Because even if you look back to some of my videos, like right after I got that done, it the blackness went away, but it was still just like, just not right. It was just like overly filled, like it just was not right. So now it is, is better and especially like when I put my makeup on but for me I wanted it to look right with no makeup because a lot of times I don't really have makeup on I don't leave the house like um with makeup so I wanted it to look like not scary but yeah so this is how it looks with um no makeup on or anything and yeah that's where we're at on that but I'm going to end this video right now because that's all I'm going to do but I'm going to take you guys back because I'm going to see her again um in like a week the girl who did my filler and I'm going to see her again because I'm going to get filler in another place that I never have and I'm going to bring you guys with me because that's what I do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one <music>